Helping people is an obligation of every person because every person in this world must coexist with others and help them. A person must realize that no matter how powerful they are, they will one day need help from others. Today, we will tell you an exciting story about a young girl who suddenly found herself in front of a crocodile basin, with dozens of crocodiles approaching her. It happened in the American city of New York in 1956 when a nine-year-old girl named Minzy found herself inside a small crocodile reserve surrounded by a fence. The reserve contained a large basin with dozens of crocodiles, and her parents took pictures of her near the crocodile basin. While this was going on, the girl crept away from her parents to a small opening under the fence and entered the crocodile basin. The girl was not aware of the danger as she approached the basin, eager to touch those fierce crocodiles. Immediately, she noticed the crocodiles starting to approach her, ready to have a nice, heavy meal. The parents turned to find the girl, but they couldn't see her. When they looked inside the cage, they noticed that she was inside, waving her hand to the crocodiles. Meanwhile, the crocodiles were approaching her quickly. The parents were shocked and began calling for help. A large crowd gathered around the cage, but none of them thought to enter the enclosure to save the little girl from those hungry crocodiles. Everyone watched the situation, and the father tried to climb the fence to reach his daughter, but he couldn't. He remained holding his hat, moaning, and watching what was going to happen to his daughter. The mother and the rest of the audience were in shock, witnessing the terrifying situation. There were only a few meters left between the crocodiles and the girl. In those critical moments, a man came from afar. He quickly climbed the fence and then jumped into the cage, holding a long rope recommended by a man who was with him. The man outside the cage was ready to grab him and help him when he tried to get out. The man went straight toward the girl, grabbed her, carried her, and returned her to safety. Despite the crocodiles chasing him and the girl, he was very fast. He placed the girl on his back, instructed her to hold on to his neck, climbed the rope, and jumped over the fence, exiting the cage. It had only been a few seconds that separated the little girl from the ferocious crocodiles, but this man had stepped in and saved her from certain death. Everyone applauded him for his courage, skill, and the way he dealt with the matter. In the end, it turned out that the savior was the famous comedian and novelist, George Carlin. The artist was on a business trip to one of the theaters located next to the zoo when he noticed the girl inside the crocodile cage. He got out of his car with his friend, bringing a rope with them to enter and save her. The girl who was rescued turned out to be the future Hollywood star, Nancy Allen. She has appeared in many films and has become popular with movie fans around the world. After many years passed since the incident, George Carlin started suffering from alcohol and drug addiction in 2008. He stopped working entirely and entered the world of gambling. After losing many bets, he eventually declared bankruptcy. When he told Nancy about his situation, she went to his house and offered to help him. Nancy paid for all the expenses of his addiction treatment, and he eventually managed to overcome this difficult period in his life and recover. Although he announced his retirement from acting, George Carlin continued his creativity in the field of writing. His most recent book, It's Stupid to Fear Crocodiles from a Little Girl, was a novel that achieved great success and high sales. This story highlights an American actor and writer who volunteered and saved the life of that girl. He did not know that the girl would one day return the favor and help him through the most challenging stage of his life, eventually reclaiming his life. Bears are very dangerous creatures. They have huge body, amazing speed and destructive power, so when a black bear comes to everyone with a baby in his mouth, everyone is frightened. They think that the baby must be the black bear's meal, but the next black bear's behavior shocked everyone. In today's materialistic society, a strange atmosphere has spread. They regard kindness as a sign of weakness, and ignoring it is regarded as humiliating each other. They often label others' kind and heroic behaviors as stupid, so as to show that their disregard for going with the flow is the right way for society. But there are always some people who are not afraid of worldly vision, break through the shackles of prejudice and do some kind things, and they often get some incredible rewards. This happened 15 years ago. 
In a village in Karela, there lived an old ranger. He had lived here for most of his life, and witnessed the village from a little deserted to lively, and then deserted. When he was young, he was also high-spirited and looking forward to the future. At that time, he married a beautiful and kind wife. After marriage, the husband and wife are still very loving and gave birth to a daughter. Unfortunately, he was unable to grow old together with his wife. A few years ago, his wife died of illness, and he spent a sad time. Fortunately, the birth of his grandson comforted his soul. The only thing that has remained unchanged over the years is probably the initial intention of the ranger to enter this industry. He likes to be close to nature and those beautiful creatures in nature. Whether they are fierce, thin, cute or strong. Now, the old ranger is with his daughter, son-in-law and their son, and his life is comfortable and calm. One day, the old man took a bamboo basket and went into the forest to pick blueberries, so that he could invite his grandson to eat fresh berries. The old man knew this area very well, and this was not the first time he had come to the forest to pick fruit, so when he found that the fruit on the periphery of the forest had been almost picked, he decided to go deep into the forest, and he wanted to find some fuller fruits. Soon the old man found a place where the fruits flourished, and he squatted down, put the basket beside him, and then began to pick blueberries with a makeshift bag. The old man was completely immersed in the joy of getting the fruit, and did not notice how he came near the beast, when suddenly he heard an angry roar, that it was a bear. As for bears, they have a strong sense of territory. The moment the old man approaches, he immediately senses that something has invaded his territory, and he decides to teach the intruders a lesson. But it is certainly impossible for an experienced ranger to enter the wild forest unprepared, and he is armed with weapons. Hearing the bear's voice, he immediately fired a threatening shot into the air with a weapon. When the black bear heard the threatening sound, he immediately retreated to one side, but strangely, he did not leave the old man's neighborhood immediately. Soon, the ranger understood why. It turned out that a little bear had fallen into a trap. This little bear was still very young and seemed to have just been born. Perhaps because he was young, he didn't know there were many dangers hidden in the forest. This trap taught him this lesson, but it also trapped him here. Obviously, the mother black bear couldn't save him. The ferocious predator was just guarding it, and it didn't know how to help its cubs, but it couldn't allow other creatures to harm its cubs either. At this time, the mother bear is watching the outsider warily, and visiting her cub from time to time. She looks very worried, and at the same time shows threats and warnings to outsiders. Perhaps most people will think that although this bear cub is still very young, it will be very destructive when it grows up, so they will not pay attention to it. It is the most correct choice to stay away from the mother bear. But the old man didn't do this. He took out a knife from his bag. Yes, he wanted to save the trapped bear cub. A few minutes later, the old man opened the trap, and the baby bear was finally free, but in order to ensure his own safety, the old man rescued the cub and left in a hurry. On his way back, the old man felt something following him, so he almost ran all the way out of the forest, and as soon as he got out of the forest, he looked around, and the bear stood behind the tree, and it gave the old man a deep look, and the look looked strange, as if it were not a beast, but a grateful mother. No one knows how the great black bear mother will repay the ranger for saving her child one day in the future. At that time, all people thought that the black bear was just a terrible predator. About a year later, the old ranger sat at home, waiting for his daughter and son-in-law, who were about to return from the city. But the young couple was late, which worried the old man, and all of a sudden a neighbor ran into the house, and, and, began shouting that something terrible had happened. He said that a bear with a bleeding mouth was walking in the village with something in his mouth. The ranger soon followed the neighbors, and the people gathered in the street, intending to frighten the beast away with their weapons, but the bear would not go far, and lingered there though it was afraid of the sound of the weapons. When he saw the old ranger, the tall animal lowered his head, laid a red parcel on the ground, and then walked away, hiding behind the tree. Although there was no unique sign, the old man recognized it at once. 
It was the bear he had met a year ago. When the old man approached, he saw that it was a newborn baby lying on the grass, and his body was wrapped in his daughter's skirt. Everyone thought it was the bear that had hurt the baby, but it was strange that the child was still alive, and the old man could hardly believe his eyes. After a brief shock and reflection, he realized that he needed to follow the bear. The animal did show him the way, as the old man expected, and the bear led the old man to an abandoned bridge, which had not been crossed for a long time, but it was obvious that some people had tried to cross it recently, but the rotting planks could not bear it, and collapsed, the rangers rushed to help. He found his daughter and son-in-law lying on the rock below, the young woman still breathing, while her husband had no sign of life. Thanks to the old man's medical knowledge, the forest ranger's daughter survived in time. When she was finally able to speak, she explained everything. It was she who persuaded her husband to come here. It was the memory of her childhood, and she spent many happy days here. So they planned to cross the bridge arm in arm. Unfortunately, because of the pressure, the bridge collapsed under their feet. This shock caused the mother's amniotic fluid to break prematurely, and she began to give birth. After giving birth, she saw a bear approaching her, but she was already powerless and unconscious. After hearing the whole story, the old man realized that this black bear was not the cause of this tragedy, on the contrary, he came to repay his kindness, and it came at the right time. After all, without the help of the bear, the old man might have lost two of the most important people in his life again. He suddenly understood why the bear followed him a year ago, but never attacked. All it wanted to do was show gratitude to him. The old man burst into tears instantly, and he suddenly reacted. It was probably the most correct decision he had ever made to save the black bear.